Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And in the last episode, we did a lot of herb lore, still working towards 77, and we were able to finish off using all the supplies that we had to get us to level 76. So in the meantime, between doing farm runs, we're going to start training the best skill in the game, which has been put off for a very long time, and it's so much of a lower level than all the other skills on the account, but we are going to start training room crafting. And by we, I mean me, because I would never subject you to training that skill. We also got a little hunter level and a cooking level in the last episode too, because why not? But anyways, let's jump right into today's video. Guess what? We're finally clearing up some bank space. I'm getting rid of some of these like random items that I don't need. I know there's like a lot more random items, but like this is the most bank space we've had in so long. So we're going to drop like all these things and uh, put the fossil in fossil island and... God, there's so much space now. Oh, 1600 KC, by the way. No pet yet, by the way. Feels bad. If we have a clean lance item and give it to Dr. Jekyll, he gives us something, doesn't he? What, what do we get from him? I've never had an herb while he's come up to me before. We got oh, super defense. I wish I had a Taurus still on me. So, a skill that we've been putting off for a very, very long time and also happens to be the lowest skill on this account is runecrafting. We have base 50s, and every level we get up with runecrafting will be a brand new base level. So, we are finally going to train the best skill in the game which is runecrafting. Now the first thing we gotta do though is get a large pouch because we recently got 50, so we don't have the large pouch yet. We only have the small and medium. So let's go to the abyssal area. Joe, Joe, thank you for, for trapping this dragon impling for me. The very first dragon impling on the account. What are we gonna get here? This could be big, this could be big. God, it's gonna take forever to catch it. There it is, all right, all right. Oh God, this is so exciting. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, it's not really cool, but at least we caught a dragon infling. Thank you, Joe. Shout out shout out to Joe King. <laughs> Before we do that, though, we have to switch over to the Lunar Spellbook because we need the uh, Orania Teleport to... You'll see what I'm doing, but we need the Orania Teleport for this. If you've done ZMI, you know how ZMI runecrafting works with Orania. 1 out of 42 for all each of the pouches, and we got that in, like... Less than 10 kills. Let's uh, let's dip on out of here. That's too easy. All right. So how the runs work? We're gonna go to World 27, which is the Orania World or ZMI as it's known. Then we teleport there with the Orania teleport. Um, you get attacked by Rangers there, so we got the shield for the range defense. We got the fury for the range defense and to show it off, of course. Ring of life because you know hardcore. By the way, don't want to die. Uh, the staff is for the the Earth rune, so we can teleport back to the Orania teleport. When you use the bank here, I'll show you right now. When you want to bank, you just click on the, the rune you're using. You use up uh, 20 of each rune. So we have Hell of Fire runes. So click on that, it takes away 20 runes. You can bank this way. We've got our runes in the corner here. And we run through the maze here, and then we craft the runes. And you get double the XP for each rune you make, but you get a random combination of runes. But like, it's good for Iron Man because limited supply of runes feels bad. But the XP is totally worth it. Probably won't get attacked too much. Hey guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a lot of people here, so we probably won't get attacked anyways. Check out all the XP from this. 304 XP. Take out all these. Actually, I guess yeah, it's gonna kind of suck having to like do this multiple times. There's a method where like you drop some of the runes as the runes are being crafted or something, but I'm not gonna really bother with that. Okay, so if you actually talk to Eniola here, you can set a preset for the rune that he takes out. Um, talk to him about your quick payment details. And then tell him that you want to take fire runes. And now you would easily just uh, bank with him. And we'll go through the chat. We can bank with him. Don't even have to select the rune you want to use. I'm going to fill up the bank so that we don't lose our rune spots. Let me take out the law rune. Yeah, we got to just take out all of them. Take out all these. Set in the placeholders. And now if we try to deposit all. Boom. Perfect. I wish there was a way to fill up the rune pouches from the bank, like you can't just fill it up this way, you have to like go out of it, fill it up, and then go back into it, but not too big of a deal. You can also pray the whole time, and then as you come back uh, after your trip, you can pray at the altar here, restore your prayer, and then keep on going, and take less damage that way. I believe the mages are, or the Zamrak people are like all three attack styles, but it takes away some of the damage that way. Also, if you're an Iron Man, by the way, the Zamrak warriors here drop rune skims if you don't want to kill the fire giants. For them, I think it's a 1 out of 50 right here. Uh, not having stamina. I do have like a lot of super energy potions, but like I'd rather save them for when I get to the point where I can make staminas. I think I'll run as I'm going through here, and when I tell you back to the Orania, I'll just walk until I get back down to this point. I totally forgot. We were like really close to the level to start with. We were like 2k to the level when we got here, so here's 51 room crafting. How much essence do we have? I didn't even like look how much essence we have, but we'll take a look again once we bank again, but um... 
I'm hoping we can get to base 60s. If we get 60 runecrafting, that'll put us at base 60s, which would be nice. And also, there's a bunch of diaries, or a few diary requirements that require like higher runecrafting levels, which is another reason why I want to train runecrafting. Okay, so in total we have, okay, there's like 18k essence, so I think it should be enough to last us. But like, look at all the runes that we're building up from this, like, five nature runes from one inventory? It's nice, this is nice, I like this. When the pouch degrades, feels bad, but it's like so nice that the the Lunar Spellbook has a spell. Once you use NPC contact, you can right click it to talk to the last person, so we'll talk to the Dark Mage. Also, when you talk to the Dark Mage, if you have the book he gives you in your bank, you save a, uh, a chat option click that way, so it's good to have that too. So one of the perks of the Arty Medium Diary is you get increased runes when making runes at the Arrhenia Altar. So you can see like right here, your medium level knowledge of the local area allows you to bind additional runes. So that's what that's all about. So if you're going to be doing this, it's nice to uh, have that done. I don't think you get more XP, but you get more runes, which is always nice. So apparently we're profiting on like all these runes. We're like getting into the positives with the Tele runes. We hit a thousand runes, a thousand law runes. So I wonder how many law runes and astrals we'll have by the end of this. Here we go, let's withdraw this last pouch here, and there is 52 rune crafting. That's a bit of a delay there, but there is 52. Now we get three earth runes from each essence. One more level to 1800. Something else I didn't point out before is that you can get runes above your level. As you see, I get like uh, I get law runes, I've got death runes, blood runes. The only runes you can't get are wrath runes and something else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, with this quick inventory right here, it's gonna be like almost exactly one hour, actually like just over an hour. So here's the XP we were getting. Um, keep in mind I'm streaming right now and like I don't have stamina, I'm not efficient whatsoever, but this is the XP we got from the first hour of doing this. Got about 20k runecrafting XP and 2.5k magic XP. So the magic XP does add up over time. Uh, I mean, we have to do 3,800 more teleports to get a level, so we're not gonna be leveling up here, but it's nice to see the XP coming in. Here we go, empty these pouches, and there's going to be 53 runecrafting and 1800 total level. It's like, oh god, the last total level 1700 milestone was like so long ago, and now 1900 is going to take like 10 times longer, but it's nice. I feel like we're entering a new generation of the account now. But we are going to wrap it up today right here with that beautiful 1800 total level milestone. And we'll be continuing on with runecrafting in the next one as well. But I just want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again tomorrow.